Hi students, how are you all? Welcome back to the maths class. Today we are going to start a new topic, division of fractions. Before starting a division, we want to know the term reciprocal. A division involving fraction is to transform it into a multiplication. A division can be changed to a multiplication by using the multiplication inverse. What is multiplication inverse? Dividing by 7 is equivalent to multiply by 1 by 7. Dividing by 2 by 3 is equivalent to multiply by 3 by 2. Dividing by 4 by 5 is equivalent to multiply by 5 by 4. This is same as the reciprocal. Reciprocal of a fraction means the flip of a fraction. For example, reciprocal of 2 by 3 is 3 by 2. Reciprocal of 5 by 7 is 7 by 5. Reciprocal of 4 by 9 is 9 by 4. Reciprocal of 2 by 8 is 8 by 2. Let's start the division of a fraction. How to divide fractions? For example, 5 over 6 divided by 2 over 3. There are 3 steps. Step 1 is change the second fraction to its reciprocal. The second fraction is 2 over 3. We want to change 2 over 3 to its reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 2 over 3? The reciprocal of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. Second step is multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. When we get the reciprocal, the operation will change. The division transform to multiplication. So 5 over 6 divided by 2 over 3 is 5 over 6 multiplied by 3 over 2. We know how to multiply the fractions. Multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. The numerators 5 times 3 is 15 and the denominators 6 times 2 is 12. So we get the answer 15 over 12. The third step is reduce the fraction if needed. We want to reduce the fraction to its simplest form. 15 over 12. We know 3 is a common factor of 15 and 12. So we can divide 15 and 12 by 3. So we get the simplest form 5 over 4. So we get the answer 5 over 6 divided by 2 over 3 is 5 over 4. Look at the examples. What is 1 by 3 divided by 3 by 4? Write the division as multiplication by the reciprocal of the divisor. What is the divisor? Divisor is the second fraction. The second fraction is 3 over 4. The reciprocal of 3 over 4 is 4 over 3. Then multiply by the reciprocal. So, 1 by 3 divided by 3 by 4 gives 1 by 3 multiplied by 4 by 3. We know how to multiply the fractions. Multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. 1 times 4 is 4 and denominator 3 times 3 is 9. So, we get the answer 4 over 9. The second example, what is 2 over 3 divided by 5 over 7? Write the division as multiplication by the reciprocal of the divisor. The divisor is the second fraction. The reciprocal of second fraction 5 by 7 is 7 by 5. So when we get the reciprocal, the operation will change to multiplication. 2 over 3 divided by 5 over 7 equal 2 over 3 multiplied by 7 over 5. To multiply these fractions, Multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. The numerators 2 and 7, 2 times 7 is 14. And denominators 3 and 5, 3 times 5 is 15. So we get the answer 14 over 15. Our next example is work out 2 over 3 divided by 4 over 5. We have to use the same method. The reciprocal of the second fraction, 4 over 5 is 5 over 4. Then, let's start the division. 
2 over 3 divided by 4 over 5 is 2 over 3 multiplied by 5 over 4. Then multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. 2 times 5 from the numerator, 3 times 4 from the denominator. 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 4 is 12. So we get the answer 10 over 12. Here 10 and 12, there is a common factor. 2 is a common factor of 10 and 12. So we can reduce this fraction to its simplest form. Divide 10 and 12 by 2. So we get the final answer 5 over 6. Students, I hope all you understood how to divide fraction. Please copy all these things in your notebook. Thank you.